Welcome DGX family to DGX 670 Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you a mind-blowing secret that can help you expand the potential of your DGX 670. Now you probably are aware that this keyboard does not have this specific beat. I'm going to show you the craziness of this instrument and how you can take it to the next level. My last video I played a beat for you and it was this. Right? You remember I showed you how to get it out of the USB? Okay. Well, today I'm going to show you how to maximize the power of this keyboard by using beats from outside the keyboard and the accompaniment from the keyboard together. So check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I'm going to add some bass into this. Check this out. Hear that? That bass is coming from the keyboard, so I'm getting the beat out of here, and I'm getting the auto bass out of here, out of the keyboard. How do I do that? I sync them once I know the tempo. The tempo is 105, and all you need to do is hit the start button at the same time, and once they're locked in, that's it. This has been playing for over five minutes, and you can add whatever else you like. Hear those guitars? Let's put this one in. Now that's loud. <laughs> that's loud. Okay. Now, as far as the volume is concerned, if you want to alter the volume, just hit mixer. So if I want to bring down that first track that was a bit unruly, I can do that and I can unmute it. Now the pad is unruly, so I go to mixer, go to pad, and I'm gonna bring it down. So when I go back in here, I can, I can mute or unmute. Just my beat. Now, pads. See that? And then you can turn it up or down from here. Chords. All synced. Now, I can change to the B pattern to get a different bass feel. Check this out. See that? Can go to the C. And you can just jam on this. This is a blank template for jamming. you'd have to get all the volumes right. You get what I mean? Just one instrument. I can even add the drums here another layer of drums but I choose to mute the drums let's go to D I can hit break and then D hear that white crazy let's hit that break again
out if I want to. Isn't that sick? You can chain the chords. Break. Back to A. my friends this gave you some ideas you know that once you get your your beat from your from your USB right once you got your beat playing like that all you need to do is find a comparable beat one that has a bass that you like for example if I come to the R&B section over here I could choose choose new R&B so that's 98 but I know that this tempo is 105 so I need to come on down to the tempo and I need to select 105 all right hit enter and all I need to do is lock in like this just go see that sick now the bass. But it's a bit too aggressive. So I think I'm gonna try the ballad. And over here in the ballad, let's see, maybe ATZP ballad. Let's get the tempo to 105, hit enter. And now when I hit, I expect it to be synced. But before I do that, I'm going to go over to Mixer. And I'm going to uh, going to hit Mixer. I'm going to make sure that my aux is higher. Or my USB, rather, is higher. I don't need the aux. That's something different. I'm going to make sure that only the channels I want are on. Because you know that with the accompaniment, you can turn on every aspect of the accompaniment, the bass, the chords, and so on. That's what I'm doing here. So let's just try the bass. Let's mute this other stuff, and let's try. I'm not here much. It's there, right? Hear that? Let's try a bass line. I put a bass line on there. Quite an interesting mix. You see what's going on there? Now, if I want to alter the volume, just need to go on back back, channel, and then I can turn these down a bit, like that was too loud, the bass hasn't come in yet, I think some of these were a bit loud too, so let me take these down, okay, now let's try again, go back here and unmute them. So I'm going to 
try B Think B has bass See what I'm saying? That bass is loud Let's take it down And we can just mute those I hope this gave you some ideas about the potential of this instrument. This instrument takes what you have outside of the keyboard, brings it in, integrates it with its already existing bass lines and chord lines and horn lines. Honestly, the potential, the sky is the limit. It really depends on how far you want to go because you could keep bringing in new beats, new loops, new stuff, and then you can integrate it just like this. Like this beat, this trap beat is not from the keyboard, but it's integrating with what we already have here. here check that out. Perfect seamless integration. Seamless integration. Seamless. Isn't that crazy? enjoy that tip 
Get crazy, get creative, bring your loops in, integrate your loops with the keyboard. Otherwise, you're leaving a lot of opportunity for creativity on the table, all right? Bring your loops in, get them at the recommended kilohertz, get them at the recommended bit rate, wave file, and you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with this keyboard. See you in the next video.